Hi class, please welcome to another session on Rehabilitation Engineering. So in last session, we just discussed what was Rehabilitation Engineering and what, what is Rehabilitation. Basically, that's what we discussed. So now, Epidemiology, I think there is a mistake. I've just taken this from your syllabus. It says Epidemiology of Rehabilitation. I think it, it should mean Epidemiology and Rehabilitation because what is Epidemiology? Well, it is a science that considers infectious disease, their course, propagation and prevention. Epidemiology is concerned with the study of the causative factors of diseases and the means to prevent or eradicate it. If, completely preve if complete prevention or total eradication is not possible, containment is the second choice. Again, our dear dear coronavirus can be a very good example of epidemiology. Now, see. An infectious disease can be anything, right? Over the years, ever since the human evolution, we've had a number of diseases that are epidemics, starting from smallpox, chicken, uh, smallpox and plague and measles. Measles was an epidemic at some point and so on. So it is a, the, stu the study considers an infectious disease. That is a disease that can spread very, very easily and their course of propagation the course in propagation, like right? who is the uh, patient population that is most affected, how is it propagated, whether it is propagated by touch, whether it is propagated through air, through water, and so on, and prevention if possible. Like how do we prevent, if, if it can be contained, then, you know, if it can be prevented, then we take all sorts of preventive measures. Now, you study the disease in total, like, you know, try and analyze, take that particular disease as a project, try and analyze all sorts of risk factors associated with it and see if you can completely prevent it or eradicate it. Like smallpox was eradicated through the vaccination by that was developed by Edward Jenner. Right? So smallpox, we I don't think our generation has gotten vaccinated for smallpox because by the time I was born it was eradicated, so I'm pretty sure by the time you were born, you wouldn't be vaccinated. You wouldn't have been vaccinated for the smallpox either. However, you know diseases such as measles and chickenpox, they have you know you can contain them. You can contain the spread through you know vaccinations, right? You can vaccinate a person poliomyelitis. Poliomyelitis is probably a bad example. It's not a an epidemic at all, but you know, these viral infections, they are kind of an epidemic disease. You know, plague was contained, you know, India was affected by plague in the early the mid nineties and probably the time when you guys were born. But yes, so we have found out measures to contain like a particular disease if we couldn't eradicate it or completely prevent it. Now, a scientist named W. H. Welsh has said that epidemiology is the study of the natural history of disease like what is the virus or what is the microorganism that is causing it how is the micro how has the microorganism mutated over the years how has the disease as such evolved and how are we coping up with it you know that is epidemiology according to wh Welch. now you have another scientist called as lillenfeld who says the distribution of a disease or a condition in a population and of the factors that influence this distribution is epidemiology. So, basically, you just take one group of species, study how the disease is spreading on that particular species and then, you know, do statistical analysis about the distribution and the influence of it. So, some example I can have given up plague, smallpox and our novel coronavirus so in your own time i would want you to think and you know you can take the assistance of the internet and find out what are the other like epidemics that the world has coped up with you know after going through this video again please find please do this assignment for me find out the epidemics that has affected the world so far other than coronavirus plague and smallpox Thank you very much for watching.